I'm John Fowler and I'm a cinematographer. I've been shooting since I was eight years old. It started as a hobby and became a profession. Filmmaking is probably 90% transportation and 10% actual shooting and things expand exponentially. The larger your equipment, the more trucks you need, the more support equipment you need, the bigger the parallels, you know, the crank evaders and so on. So when we're shooting with, you know, big 10 or 20 Ks, that needs a lot of support and a lot of stuff and, uh, you know, convoys of trucks. So as lights get smaller, we can shoot faster and when we can shoot faster, it's more spontaneous. So it affects the creativity as well. When I got started in documentaries, we had lights that fit into cases and we traveled around the world with these uh, quartz lights, which were hot lights. Then I got into features and the lights were bigger, but they were still hot lights. And then I got into commercials and the lights were probably even bigger because we had probably more bigger budgets and more control. So again, it was, you know, big 10Ks, 20K uh, tungsten lights. And now we're coming full circle back to smaller, better lights. I first heard about light panels when I was doing cosmetic and fashion commercials with uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. We were doing a Neutrogena campaign and we wanted a, a ring light to go over the lens. And the reason you want to get a ring light very often is, well, there are two reasons to use a ring light. One is you might want to have a circular pattern in the pupil, in the, in the eye of the talent, or you may want this sort of very soft shadowless fill. So, uh, in the past, we had made uh, ring lights out of, you know, gaffer tape, cardboard, and lots of little, you know, Christmas tree lights or little fixtures or little tungsten lights, and they would get so hot the, the, the lens would practically melt. And one day, our gaffer said, hey, you should try this uh, ring light from light panels. So we did, and that changed everything because it was a dimmable, LED, very cool source, it didn't melt the lens, uh, there was no danger of catching fire, and it had this beautiful quality because it was dimmable. And then after that I heard about these guys, the little the light panels, and that changed everything because we could put lights in cars, uh, to t hide them in places, in kitchens, we could do all kinds of great things, and you know, they're battery operated and very portable and flexible and powerful. Having said that, um, you know, they can be abused too. If you, you know, if you have really flat light, so very often people put these on top of their video cameras and just crank them up all the way. And I guess that's what we call the six o'clock news look where it just sort of blasts. The, the difference between, you know, just putting it in the front or a ring light that's just on the front and using it well, very often can be, you know, a, a hundred thousand dollar a day model like a Jennifer Love Hewitt or a, you know somebody who's really beautiful or has great makeup and where you're actually painting with makeup and creating your texture and your shadows with the makeup suddenly if you put a, a light like this on somebody like me it may not look so good because uh, well we didn't have a makeup person and I'm not Jennifer Love Hewitt. Well the light panels offer all kinds of advantages one of the great advantages is being able to dim it and you can fully dim it and the color temperature doesn't change uh, they come in daylight or tungsten, and you know that they're going to be daylight and tungsten. It's, it's, a, it's a given. You don't have to gel them with plus green or minus green like HMIs. You don't have to worry about flicker. You can shoot off speed, high speed. Uh, there's, there, it's a constant source. Uh, they, they're not fragile like fluorescence. They, they really take a beating. They last a long time, I don't know, 50,000 hours or a huge amount of hours on these things and, and they're very robust and rugged and you can ship them, use them anywhere in the world and you still know that they're going to work. Well, the uh, light panel um, I had used quite a bit as an effect light. I had put it in cars under steering wheels and I had hidden it in kitchens under, you know, under countertops and things like that. But I never really had used just one of these to light a person until one day we were filming Gordon Willis for the documentary that we just finished called Cinematographer Style. And to light Gordon Willis, it's a pretty interesting story. We had scouted his house in Cape Cod a few weeks in advance and we were told in no uncertain terms that we were not to bring any lights inside his house for fear of scratching you know, the beautiful floor and the furniture. So we rented uh, you know, a grip electric truck and cut to three weeks later, it's 7 a.m. November morning 
and the largest grip truck, grip electric truck the world has ever seen is backing down Mr. Willis's driveway in Cape Cod. And you know, one slip of the brakes and the, the house would have been reduced to toothpicks. Well, we're making a lot of noise and Mr. Willis wakes up and steps out of the front door and, and rubbing his eyes and you know, says, what do you need all that stuff for? And we say, well, we're gonna light from outside with big lights. And he said, oh, you don't need that. Just bring a small light inside. So we had one of these. And uh, we had our regular lights uh, lit up inside. And he, said, he, he turns to the gaffer and says, turn that light off, turn the key light off. So it's totally dark. And then he picked up the light panel mini that we had next to him that we were just gonna use as a, so just a little eye light. And he said, ah, now that's an interesting light. And he puts it over here and he says, hmm, it gives you 90 degree side light. Could put it here, it gives me top light. And we could have it, we could have and we should have done the whole interview just with a one light, with the batteries that snap on on the back, they give you a, a, a quite a bit of life. You can, uh, you can have this available in daylight or tungsten, and this one light could have lit the whole interview.